any engine failure that we have prior to lifting off the runway. We're going to just use the brakes and stay on the runway. Any engine failure after rotation and liftoff. But below 1,000 feet above the ground, we're going to land straight ahead. Whether it be in trees or on the runway. Once we're 1,000 feet above the runway or higher, we will attempt to return, turn back to the runway and land on it at this airport. Any other emergencies, we're going to attempt to return back to Lewisburg under visual conditions currently right now. We're going to go up to 7,000 feet off of runway 22. And we are ready to go. Tower, Piper A13 Tango, Charlie, uh, Charlie Short 22, ready for departure. Piper A13 Tango, Charlie, Lewisburg Tower, proceed on course, runway 22, clear for takeoff. On course, clear for takeoff, runway 22, for Piper A13 Tango, Charlie. Okay, on course, that means once we lift off and I get to a safe altitude, I can turn left direct to Danville in the climb to 6,000, uh, correction, 7,000 feet. So, we're taxiing into position here. This is runway 22. We'll verify it when we straighten out. I'll see a 22 on the pavement, I'll see a 22 on my heading bug, and I'll see a 22 on my compass. That means I'm on the right runway. There's 22, there's 22, there's 22. Here we go. The power is set. My engine gauges are in the green. My airspeed's alive. There's 70, 80 knots, slowly pull back, and off we go. Flaps are zero, trim's adjusted. I'm going to bring the fuel flow back to 20 gallons an hour for the climb. Level 21, proceed along the uh, runway edge again. Right. Engine's operating well. I've switched over to my map view for traffic and for visual departing to turn left on course. Okay, my climb checklist. The flaps are zero, speed's 100, lights and fuel pump to go. R3 Tango Charlie, contact departure, have a good flight. Over to departure, by Bray, one 3 Tango Charlie, good sir. Washington Center, good afternoon. Uh, November 444 Alpha Kilo, uh, leveling at 17,000. And I was told I could go direct on course, or turn on course, so I'm going to start my turn. I'm looking outside for traffic. I'm turning, I'm climbing. Washington, good afternoon. November 813 Tango Charlie off Lewisburg, uh, climbing 3,300 to 7,000. Henry 13 Tango Charlie Washington said I'll be looking for you to confirm climbing to 7,000. That's right, leaving 3,400, climb to 7,000. Piper 813 Tango Charlie. Roger, number uh, 487, Fox Cross Sierra, Washington Center, Santa Noel, Center 3,000. So it's my responsibility to avoid these mountains under visual conditions. Four, five, seven, Once we Fox get Cross, sir, a little bit higher, her radar will pick us up. She'll see us as well, and then we'll be able to light. 4162, uh, 27.5% to their control. Eagle 4162, Washington Center, descent and maintain level 210. 210, Eagle Flight 4162. Memory 13 Tango Charlie, radar contact, 4 miles south, Lewisburg Air Force, 3800 southbound now. And um, you said you're on course, Dr. Canada? That's affirmative, Piper 813 Tango Charlie. Roger. Number 88, number one, mic, your clear visual approach to runway 22, Lewisburg, standby for the frequency change. Two out of seven for the visual room, November bike. even just over the course of the last hour how the clouds have completely changed out here. No longer do we have that kind of broken to overcast layer 
with the vertical build up and we've got, you know, it's clearer, it's more scattered to broken and much better visibility too. You notice that? Huh? You notice the visibility is much Kima better? 4175 to 7 maintain 11000. 11000, Kima 4175. To the golf course. Remember, E-November Mike, radar starts to turn contact Lewisburg Tower 118.9. See it? E-9, thanks for help, November Mike.
but he's two and a half miles out, 4,000 feet above us. We don't, you got to watch it closely to see sort of which direction it's traveling to get a reference of where you should be looking. If it's right to left, you know, that's how you would look for it. I mean, right now he's slowly off to our left now, so he looks like he may be going left to right, or right to left. Uh, but 4,000 feet above us, he's probably above these clouds. We may or may not see him. If it's a small airplane, it'll be harder to find as well, okay? Okay. Cruise flight, here we go. We're going to go over to my engine page, going to turn off my electric fuel pump. The engine's still running, which means the engine-driven fuel pump is good. I'm going to turn my landing light off here. Now, at 7,000 feet, We will do max and 2500. Max power. We've got a message here. Change my fuel tanks. So. I'm going to leave them. At 7,000 feet, max manifold, 2,500 RPM, and bring it back to... Roger, 147, Washington, center, Roger, run, okay, 2 minutes, 3003. We'll break it in half, we'll do 17, and a half gallons an hour. All right, so, cruise checklist, the electric fuel pump is off. Power settings are complete, landing light is off, the cruise checklist is complete. Now, so what I'm looking at is I've got all kinds of different ways to see where we are right now. We're headed direct to Danville on a des uh, desired track of 154 degrees. We're 74 miles away, 29 minutes away. Same thing shows me over here, 74 miles, 28 minutes. We'll have 70 gallons when we get there, which means that we will have burned 38 gallons. This is an estimation based on the information that I put in it. Chances are we have a little bit more than that. Uh, ground speed's 150 knots. The current time is 3.42 in the afternoon. Here's my engine gauges, tin instrumentations again, my oil temperature, my oil pressure. The outside air temperature at 7,000 feet is 57 degrees outside at this altitude. Wow. My winds are 250 straight off my right, coming pointed at us at 20 knots. We'll go normal. We're going to zoom this out to see if there's anything on the radar, which we already looked at earlier, and there didn't seem to be, so we're good.